Hello everyone and welcome to Simulink tutorial videos brought to you by MATLAB Helper. In this video tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to build a model in Simulink. Now, this model is going to represent a missile launcher system which will determine the angle of uh, the projectile using the system or the design that we build in Simulink. So, let's get started. First, I'm going to show you how you can derive all the system equations before implementing those in Simlink. So, for that, let's say this is the ground and this is where our missile launcher is placed. Please pardon my drawing skills. Uh, and let's say there is this hilltop over which you have your enemy base and this is to be the target. Uh, so, let's say it is at some height, say 50 meters and the distance between the launcher and the target is 500 meters. Uh, so, in order to hit the target, the projectile after firing the missile will look something like this. And let's say the missile is fired with the velocity V. Uh, this velocity is going to be constant. Let's consider that as 100 meter per second. Uh, I know that for a missile launcher, all these values are very small, but uh, to make it feasible to implement in Simulink, uh, these values can be anything. Just change it and uh, the system should work. So, in order to derive equations for this system, we will have to first resolve our velocity component into horizontal and vertical component. So these horizontal and vertical component will be derived on the basis of the angle theta which will be determined by our system. So this is the horizontal component which is V cos theta and this is the vertical component that is V sin theta. Let's consider the horizontal motion first. So in the horizontal motion our velocity is given by v cos theta. The distance that has to be traveled in the horizontal direction is 500 meters. So using these two things, we can calculate the time of flight or the time required by the rocket to hit the target will be given by distance upon speed, which is 500 upon v cos theta. So that is, let's see, equation one. Now considering the vertical motion, We know that the velocity with which the flight starts is given by V sine theta. Uh, the displacement that the rocket will undergo through the entire motion will be 50 meters because in the end it has to hit the target. Because in the end it has to hit the target. So that will be our displacement. Since the rocket travels in vertical direction, it is acted upon by the force of gravity which acts in the downward direction that is given by minus of g uh, so we know the acceleration is given by g using all these parameters we can uh, derive a displacement equation by the following the displacement equation is given by d is equal to ut plus half a t squared where our d is the final displacement which is 50 meters u is the initial velocity which is v sine theta t can be substituted by the, from the first equation which is 500 upon v cos theta and our acceleration is minus j so we'll have a minus sign which is divided by 2 so we'll get 4.9 into t squared which is 500 upon v cos theta the entire square so this will be our displacement equation for the vertical motion now since we have to calculate the value of theta this entire equation can be represented in the form of a quadratic equation with respect to tan theta so the equation turns out to be now this is the final equation which will be implemented in simulink and we will solve this equation for the value of tan theta through which we can calculate theta by using tan inverse of let's say x. 
since this is a quadratic equation, we can can name these coefficients as a, b, and c. And these are the terms that are used in our system. And now let's move on to our symlink model. So this is a model that can be used to determine the angle. Uh, as you can see, these are the inputs that will be given to our system. The distance to the target in the horizontal direction was 500 meters, so that is this value. Initial velocity uh, of the rocket is 100 meters per second, so that is this value. And the height of uh, the target is given was given as 50 meters, so that is this value. Now, uh, we have to since we have to calculate theta. This is a subsystem that I've designed, which will calculate the value of theta. Now the calculated value of theta will be in terms of radians, so let's see how that is done. As I showed you in the sketch board, which will form a quadratic equation, as you can see, the distance, uh, this is the initial velocity, target height, and after all these calculations, we get A, B, and C, which are given to the MATLAB function. Let's see this function. Now this function takes input a, b, and c. This a, b, and c will form a quadratic equation named f, of which we'll find out the roots, and we'll calculate the tan inverse of that root, and we'll get the value of theta in the diet. Uh, going back to the system, that will calculate theta. Now we know that uh, the flight of the rocket will follow a projectile trajectory, so that trajectory can be plotted here using the subsystem that I've designed named plot. Now this subsystem will help determine the value of x and y and these x and y components can be used to plot our graph. So let's try simulating the system. And as you see, this is the projectile trajectory of the rocket that is launched. This is how you implement a model that will determine the theta of a projectile uh, for any type of system, you just have to provide the proper input and the output and you'll get the results. So I hope this video was helpful to you and if you liked it, please hit the thumbs up button or subscribe if you haven't already. Uh, if you have any queries or if you have any suggestions for different tutorial topics that you want us to cover, please leave it in the comment section down below and we will get back to you with it. Thank you for watching this video.